Triple G and tonight fire officials tell us that besides being a little tired and of course obviously a little bit shaken up everyone who was pulled from these waters earlier this evening they say was uninjured. Powerful rip currents proving to be too much for swimmers in the waters off Hampton Beach Friday night. In all, fire officials say about nine people were pulled out to safety. They were initially called for teenagers struggling in the water. We arrived on scene. Um, the lifeguards had them out of the water. Um, they did not require any medical attention. They were fine. Uh, a couple of teenagers while we were there. Uh, there were a couple to three other people that were caught in the riptide. Um, but the lifeguards also assisted out of the water while we were on scene. Before the first call came in around 6.30 Friday evening, four other people had already been rescued. No one was hurt. Lieutenant Sean Gannon saying it is fortunate for these swimmers that lifeguards were even still on duty. Normally, they clock out at 5.30. We were fortunate this came, call came in at 6.30. There were still several lifeguards on duty and they were still around. Um, they noticed the uh, people that were struggling in the water from their lifeguard tower mm -hmm. and were able to respond quickly and assist them. Now, state park officials are urging swimmers to follow the instructions of lifeguards. They say rip currents are at their strongest two to three hours before and after low tide, right around the time those swimmers got into trouble Friday night. It's something lifeguards monitor constantly along with fire officials. It will change day to day where they are. Sometimes there's rip currents, sometimes they're not, and they can show up pretty quickly. But lifeguards are fantastic and they, they do this every day. Those lifeguards certainly being commended tonight for helping all of those nine people out of the water safely. Now tomorrow, low tide is around 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. So anyone heading to the beach tomorrow will want to use extreme caution around those hours. That's when those rip currents could become a problem once again. State park officials just reminding everyone, urging them to listen to lifeguard instructions. Live at Hampton Beach tonight, I'm Sharice LeClaire, WMUR News 9.